Alrighty, hello everybody. We are continuing our Digimon adventure here. And uh, last time, I think we mostly just did like the main story in which we hacked into the secure secret room of the Kamashiro Corporation. I think that I get that name wrong all the time. Because I do not speak Japanese and Brain automatically like, ah oh, yes, this other Japanese name. Because Brain is stupid. But yes, we got the diary. That is apparently super important. And now it's basically, uh, oh yeah, and we watched a lot of people die. Quote unquote. They got eaten by the eaters and had their mental data destroyed. And now all their bodies will be taken to the Kamishiro-run hospital, in which nothing will be done to save them. Grand horrors! And yeah, so yeah, we went through all that, and uh, now we have school friend, who I keep forgetting the name of here. Hello. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, what to do, what to do. What is it, my dude? Oh, Neon! How long have you been there? Long enough. Looks like your many years of experience as a detective have made you a master of stealth. My dude, I have been a... Uh, did, uh, I have been a cyber sleuth for like a week in universe. But sure, whatever makes you feel better, my dude. No, that can't be right. Is he actually gonna t t say that? What am I worried about? Damn it! I, how could I? How could you tell? You're too good at the detective stuff. Well, maybe it's better to ask you about this anyway. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna solve this one on my own. What? Uh, let me guess. You're sending me. <laughs> Hello, Ice Devimon. Trivia: What do you call it when a Digimon looks like an 8-bit sprite? Dot. I could have sworn we did that one not too long ago. Uh, I'm not going to solve this one on my own. It's probably best to ask you for help, so yeah. Don't just teleport us. We have to walk the whole way. Accept it on the board. Because the fool boy can't do smarts. It's an urgent one. One star. It's a one difficulty. <laughs> Ryota, why? Flowers for Sakura. Place Broadway. Oh, what should I do? What can I do? Is there something I can give to win over a girl's heart? And we get a flame symbol. Sure, I'll take it. I don't have much else to do. Would be hilarious if I had to walk all the way back. Your girlfriend will be getting out of hospital soon, and you want to give her a present? Ah, Kyoko, keep your voice down a bit. Sakura, she's not my girlfriend yet. Huh? Not yet? What on earth does that mean? Uh, um, I, well... Look, if you want to give her a present, just give her whatever you want. I'd like to get something a girl would like. Could you help me choose something? But, you know, you'll have to pay for this if it's an official case, right? That's okay, I just want her to have the best possible present. Ryota. Uh, kind of dumb, but I guess his heart's in the right place. Well, I mean, she's just getting out of the hospital, that's all. Don't you think you're taking this a bit too far? Jeez, give it a rest already. I know you're a detective at all, but stop constantly analyzing every little thing for once. Hehehe, <laughs> it's a personal rule of mine not to take on a case unless I completely understand it. But okay, I suppose I can make an exception just for now. Just for now, that sounds scary. I need money in order to buy the present, so I'll get a part-time job. I heard about... God damn it, I knew it was gonna be this. I knew it. I knew it the moment I saw him sitting in that goddamn cafe seat, it was gonna be this again. Where we're gonna have to go and find him a part time job so that he can like, buy some freaking. F Ryota. Ryota, why? But I'll still need your help. Hmm, he's still working in ghost photography. Well, I guess that's fine. So we're looking for some uh, something a girl would like. Sorry, but I stopped thinking like a girl a long time ago, and you're too worldly, so that leaves us with a bit of a problem. In this situation, I'd say you should ask your feminine friends. Hmm, your feminine friends. What about Arata? 
Well, he's not really feminine, but if I had to say, I'd say, if I had to say, I'd say he seems like a kind of childish romantic to me. Maybe Yuko? Well, she's not really the type. She's naive and probably wouldn't care about what kind of present it was, I'd say. Nokia? Perfect! She's probably not really that kind of person, but at least she will try her best. Or at least that's how she seems to me. Hmm. I think she's in Shinjuku right now. How would you know? <laughs> Kyoko, have you been spying on my friends? I think she's spying on my friends. Present to get the girl. Hopefully she doesn't assume that I'm asking her to give her a present. Well, let's go to Shinjuku. Find Nokia. Again, how do you know where my friend is? Kyoko. Quit looking after my friends like this. I could ask her, but obvious, the obvious answer is asking Nokia. And what's up? Is there some burning question that you desperately need to ask? Present to get the girl. Huh? You're looking for a present for a girl? Do you have any more information than that? Hmm, a girl's present. But Neon, why are you asking me about this? Oh, gee, you like someone, don't you? But you already have me. Wait, is that why? But since you can't have me all to yourself, you need to find someone else. That's probably it. Keaton, Nokia, what's going through your head? I guess I'm just too intimidating for most guys, but if nobody ever gets close to me because they're afraid, not a good sign. But Neon and me, we aren't like that. As rebels, we all share the same goals, the same ideas. Why did the music cut out for a moment? Okay, we have a special relationship that can overcome any obstacle. Whatever you think, Nokia. So, what's the request again? Ryota wants to find a present for Sakura. Ah, it was about the present for a girl. You came to the right place. I happen to be an expert on that matter. When it comes to presents for girls, you can't go wrong with accessories. Accessories! Girls eat, sleep, and breathe accessories. They're a little pricey, but what about a necklace from Vivian's? Let's discuss it back at the office. A necklace? Not bad. I guess me saying, let's talk about it back at the office, did not include Nokia. <laughs> Nokia's gonna have a skewed idea from here on out. I think anything over a thousand bucks would hurt a high school student's wallet a bit too much. Yeah, the price is one thing, but honestly, rather than getting her something so girly, I think it would be actually be better to give her something romantic. A present that shows that I've put some thought into it. Hmm, a romantic present. I know I said I wouldn't ask too many questions, but I have one for you now. Huh? What are you talking about? You know she's getting just getting out of the hospital. Why are you so concerned with getting her such an amazing present? This this is a chance for me. For me to tell Sakura. Tell her how I feel. Tell her how you feel? Hmm, what exactly would that be? Well, I mean, you know, that I that I love her. Love? Love? You like this Sakura girl? Well, of course I do. Why else would I want to tell her how I feel? I see, but why do you like her? Well, I don't really know. I guess I just can't leave her and I want to be with her. I'm the only one who can protect Sakura. Oh, I'm Ryota. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. Why are you repeating this, Kyoko? Why are you being weird? What? Hey, stop that! Stop saying that! Stop it! Enough already! That's it. Now, do what I hired you to do. Kyoko, why are you tormenting the boy? He really is such a self-conscious teenage boy. But he's an honest kid. We should definitely keep helping him. Well then, hmm, a romantic present. I think you need to go looking for a romantic friend of yours. A, ro a romantic friend. Probably Arata. Exactly. You wouldn't think so, but I'd say he's quite the romantic. I think he's in Akihabara. Go ask him about the romantic present. Is this gonna turn into a thing where I'm going to give Nokia and Arata and Yuko the wrong idea? Is that what? The, is this going to be that episode? It's gonna be that episode, isn't it? Well, off to Akihabara. Could ask her, but who cares? We know the real, the real meat and potatoes. Arata, where are you? What? Ha! Right after tying up those disappearances, we nabbed some creeper stalker too. <laughs> he actually got caught! He was squawking about being tricked by a flower lady, but scumbags like that are threats to women to everyone. I locked him up, no questions asked. Sure thing. 
Hey, Arata. Oh, you've got a question for me. Then what are you being so formal for? Romantic present. Uh, you're looking for a romantic present for a girl. Romantic? That, that's kind of old-fashioned, don't you think? Anyway, why are you specifically asking me this? Because you're a hopeless romantic, Arata. Uh, I'm a romantic? What are you talking about? What? You're here at Kyoko's behest. I can't think why she would say such a thing. Hmm, romantic, you say. That's it. How about something like poison and a dagger? Well, he is a classical romantic. I'll give you that, okay. He's a classic romantic. He read Shakespeare. <laughs> What's with that face? It would be such a romantic present. You know, like Romeo and Juliet. You've heard of them, right? I know about them, but it's one of Shakespeare's tragedies. It's about the forbidden love of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo thinks that Juliet has died, so he drinks poison and kills himself. But Juliet is actually alive, and when she sees that Romeo is dead, she takes a dagger and sticks it in her own heart. So, what do you think? Romantic, right? Well, I don't know. There's just something touching about such a profound and dramatic gesture. It's a romantic present, and that's that. Kind of isn't. <laughs> it's a joke. Just a joke. I don't know with you, man. You can be kind of crazy. You're the one who labeled me a weirdo. I was just getting back at you. Hmm, a romantic present. How about a ticket to a theme park? Have you ever heard of those that memories are better than possessions? Ride the ride, see the parades, kiss underneath the starry sky. Girls like that kind of stuff, right? That is kind of thoughtful. Memories. It's a neat idea, at least. Hmm, wow. Going to a theme park, kissing under a starry sky, just as I thought. He's quite the romantic. What do you think? Should they enjoy a date at the theme park? A uh, date, a date. I feel like going on a date should be the next step. First, I'd like to get her a present that really grabs her. Hmm, you sure do have a lot of conditions. Actually, I've been thinking. I'd rather the present wasn't too unusual. Something simple but elegant. Hmm, actually, you have a good point there. But simple but elegant is a bit ambiguous. Okay, then I've got to go do my job. Please go on. I'll speak with you later. It's the third time he's done that. Guess I should be used to this by now, but I don't get why he keeps leaving us to do all the work. So, something simple but elegant. She's not simple, but there's only one friend of yours who I can think of who would give you kind of a, that kind of advice. Yep, off to you go. Yeah, looks like she's at Kamishiro right now. How do you know? Quit stalking my friends. Please go and ask her about something simple but elegant. She should tell, be able to tell you something useful anyway. Can farm training alone? Blah, blah, blah. You aren't real. You're something that I can grind up into Digidust and feed to other Digimon to level them up if I so chose. You are not real! You do not exist. Wait, where where did she say that she was Shinjuku? My, uh, my brain just turned off. Yuko and Kamishiro. Alright, Kamishiro. Wait. Oh, is she literally in Eden? That would make sense. But still, that's still Spy. But wait, well, I, you'd think that, uh, it kind of makes sense because yeah, she would be in Kamishiro, but at the same time, you'd think Kamishiro's like, head place would be, like, shut down because murder. Oh, hey, an item. Dark Tyranimon Metal. While our relationship may fall within the bounds of friendship, to touch me so brazenly is... Uh, what? What? I'm confused. Oh, you got something to ask me. Simple is good. Huh, you're looking for something simple and delicious or... Oh, sorry, simple and elegant, my bad. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Please explain it in a bit more detail. Uh, of course, you're looking for something a girl would like. I get it now, but I don't think that's the best plan. For starters, it's a present for someone that's been picked out by someone who doesn't know them. What? <laughs> the gift giver needs to think about what the recipient might like. What might make her happy? Think seriously, considering... Consider it, ponder it, mull it over, and then choose the best possible present. 
That's what giving a present's all about. It's not what you get, it's the time and energy spent thinking about what might make the other person happy. That's the present's true value. I guess that is simple and uh, elegant. Please tell this client who can't decide on a present to think as carefully as he can about the person he wants to give the gift to. You're rather smart about this, Yuko. Uh, me? What make me happy? Hmm, that's a good question. Onigiri. Lol. That's what I'd want. Onigiri. Made with love. A nice big onigiri. What? Onigiri is no good. It might work for you, but not for this. She said that the time spent thinking about the best possible present was the true gift. Hmm. She has a point there. Wow, of course. That's, it. that's exactly what I should do. I'll think about it seriously and on my own. I'll think about what would make Sakura the happiest. Okay, thanks, Neon and Kyoko. Woohoo! Does he really need to go off running and shouting like that? And where the hell is he going anyway? Youth is wasted on the young. That's actually. That sounds like a lyric from the. Uh, what's his name? Uh, famous composer worked on Nightmare Before Christmas. And Oingo Boingo. Youth is wasted on the motherfucking youth. In his ho horrifying, creepy, we've been locked in our homes for two years, I've gone insane song. I'm curious to see how this budding romance turns out in the end. I wish him the best of luck out there in courting her. Anything else? No. Looks like we're gonna have to go hunt down more cases. Time to hunt down... That's the wrong way, damn it. Look for anything, anyone, with an exclamation point above their head. Also, I just realized that there is no music in these sections. I don't know why, but it's really noticeable to me right now. It haunts my soul. Do I have any medals? I at least have Dark Tyranimon. 50 yen? Uh, just get him out of my inventory. Yeah, it's what I figured that there wouldn't be one here because unless it's in the... It's not in the cafe again, is it? That'd be kind of mean. Okay, good. Now off we will go to the various plate. Well, then we could also go to Eden. If we really wanted to look for things. But we have to look. Let's look around Shinjuku. And then Eden will be a final final. Looking around at the speed of sound for anything and everything. Anything and everything. I exist so the lights turn off or something. And I don't see anything on this side, so we will leave to a new world. Yes, yes, whistle, whistle, bird, bird, whistle, whistle. I wonder why those cones are there. Why all these cones are here. What is their point? What do they do? Uh, there's nothing over there, so... Let's go this way. Check on the music shop. -a. Ye old music shoppy. Same thing. Actually, Edamon and I have grown quite close. After hours, we debate music late into the night. Lately, he invited me to come to visit his world. It's not a problem to go there, is it? I mean, it's not as though I would never turn to the real world, right? That's hilarious. Edamon's shit is right here. That's actually hilarious to me. Is that going to be a plot point? Edamon's gonna kidnap you. Or will you just go missing? And Edamon's like, but I just invited her over to my place. And you have to go like, yes, but your place is in the digital world. <laughs> then again, he did kind of summon it last time, so maybe he has control of it. Looking everywhere. Still kind of funny. That's like, oh, you can go here. And then you cannot. That way, only accessible 
to Labyrinth. A uh, metropolitan office? And if not, then we'll probably... Oh, yep. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, I guess we'll head back to Eden, I suppose. Unless... Well, this other underpass, doubt it, but we're already in the menu. I don't have any reason to go here now. Sure you do. Boredom. Go beat up people. I mean, I guess we could technically go to the central hospital now. I just want to check my inventory, just to be quick. Wanted to make sure I wasn't missing out on any uh, data thingies. Memory ups. That I might have missed. Because they just are like, oh, hey, memory. You have anything to say? Oh, yeah, I guess we should check up on... I guess I really should just get in the habit of talking to you when I don't know where to go. All right, I guess Kowloon level one. Hopefully you haven't been beaten up. Oh, well, yeah, weren't we... Like, uh, leveling up this guy's CAM. So I guess you can replace Godomon for now. Because we'll be wandering around a bit, probably. Okay, Rebel member, what's going on? How be Nokia? Y you're Akino's friend, right? I have a request for you. Oh, that's right. You're the cyber sleuth. I'll send the case uh, he info ahead to your office. Of course. Because they have to find someone. And my existence reminds them, oh yeah, cyber sleuths exist. And then I have to go back to the office and get the information there. Can't just give me the information right there, no. Can't be that simple. Watch it be like a kidnapping. Nokia's been cap kidnapped. Help. I want to help Akino, but I'm totally powerless. I need your help instead. Oh, oh, I need you to help instead of me. Friendship DX. I think that might come in handy for what I'm trying to do. At least for... Oh, yeah, I forgot. We could make a Stingmon. Not a super, super powerful one, but meh. Tamer Galactica Park. Then off we go. I get it. You could have just given it to me there, man. I get it. Game mechanics, but... Yeah. Yeah, indeed. At least this gives me time to, like, save, I guess. Luckily, I haven't, like, lost any data, so shouldn't be terrible. Oh, you came to see me? Thanks, dude. I'm an Ubi in the Rebels. My name's Yasu. I'll get to the case details in just a sec, but first there's something I want to check. Basically, I just need to know, are you a member of the Rebels? What are you? What aren't you? I am Nokia's friend. What do you mean? That seems a bit vague. Akino didn't mention you, but it seems like you want to join the Rebels. So please, keep watch over Akino. This is your duty. You're the one who changed her. So it's the least you can do. I, he's not wrong. If you let her, get in, uh, let her get into any danger, I will never forgive you. And well, I, I love her, so... Huh? Love? Uh, what? What do you mean? I'm screwed. I love her, but I like her, and I want to leap around too. Please don't make fun of me. I'm being serious. I don't know what I'm going to do. There are rumors that some of the hackers who Akino invited to join us have something against her. I'm powerless. If anything should happen, I want you to protect Akino. Alrighty. Thanks. Akino is in Kowloon level one now. Go and look for her. So right ahead. That guy was a weirdo. And I could totally see him and Akino getting together from over the fact that he was just in a, de a default character model. That's the only strike against him. He's default Steve. Just want to triple check this area every time to be safe. Uh, is that okay? I'm asking you to do your best to, to watch over her secretly. If there's an emergency, that's a different story. Otherwise, just watch her from afar. That's what a real man does. You know. Huh? What is it? Oh, Nokia. 
You want to join the rebels? You'll join, right? You wouldn't have talked for so long about this if you weren't interested. Why should I join such a shady group? Do it for Eden, for the Digimon. Those problems will be there whether I join or not. And anyway, I'm the last person who could change things. I never got good grades in school. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a job. There's no way I'm going to change anything. That doesn't matter. There will come a time when we and Digimon need all the help we can get, even the little things you can do. Also, if you join the Rebels, your grades will get better. What? You'll, you... you. <laughs> Nokia. Nokia, why? Why are you insane? Like, everybody's insane in this game. Everybody's insane in this game. I don't actually know. Everyone gets different results. <laughs> Nokia's going insane. But I believe in you. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard someone say that to me. If you're being truthful with me. All right, it's a deal. I'll join the Rebels. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. That's amazing. Akino, you know you have you you have a you have a gift for recruiting, you know. Yasu, coming to a cinema near you. What? Actually, now that I think about it, you're actually really pretty. Is it okay for me to date the leader? Huh? Oh, that's that might be a problem. Yasu, don't run in. That jerk is pushing his luck. How can he just make a pass at Akino so casually? I'm going to put a stop to this. I'm going to beat the crap out of this guy. I have to stop him from ruining. What? Let go of me, Dion! Let me at him! Let me at him! This is great. I'm going to tell everyone about this. They have to know I met a hot <laughs> They have to know I met a hot girl. Ah, no, wait, don't! A uh, hot girl, you say? Hee <laughs> hee. Nokia, you did it! Yeah, apparently, I'm a hot girl. No, not that. <laughs> you successfully recruited him. Oh, oh yeah! Yeah, that's great. Are you seriously more happy about being called hot? But of course you did it. Haven't you gotten used to the fact that you're the leader now? Thanks, but we still need more members also. All Sal. My ability to lead is not quite there yet either. I still can't face Yugo or Faye. They're too strong. I see. Maybe if we got stronger. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean you guys. I'm worried that I don't have what it takes. Not enough practice, maybe? Not enough practice, maybe? Yeah, me neither, actually. All you need is a bit, motiv bit of motivation. Huh, really? Hmm, motivation. Well, anyway, staying around here, trying to figure out this out won't do any good. Right, time to go recruit more hackers. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Wow, Kina's so brave, so tender. I'm falling for her. Ah, uh, she's getting away. I've got to protect her. Looks like Nokia's going to Kowloon. Level two, probably. I forgot that we can get into fights down here. Annihilate the child. Why has it got to be a critical hit? Xvmon just says, This little blob must die. Yeet. I will check my case just to be sure. It'll probably just say Kowloon. Yep, Kowloon level two. Funny that it says it there, but not in the actual text of, she's going to Kowloon. And just left it at that, dot, dot, dot. It has been five billion years since we've run into these guys. Why would we need this against these guys? They are but children. XVmon is actually very high level. Gonna quickly check. Xvmon, what do you need to level up? Max 51. Hmm. I'm gonna save in my. Uh, yeah, that's an idea. I'm gonna quickly do a thing. Because if I can do a thing and it turns out well, it'll be smart and not dumb. Let's see. Fr I should have lots. Excuse me. Should have lots of friendship. DXs. Let's see. Twenty. Hmm. Then I shall normal friendship you, and we'll get the rest of it fighting. Digiline, yas yas. 
Blah, blah, blah. I think you specifically have act asked me that before, tree man. And we'll just get into, like, ten encounters, defeat them all. In fact, I could probably, I think, uh, this... There we go. Just need to find the right button. Don't think you needed to do that, Cyberdramon. I'll have to take that off. Force encounter. Yeah, and we'll turn off the auto because the game was like, this one, Yaman, this entraining rookie piece of shit must be annihilated by the strongest attack we have. And I say no. Force encounter. Destroy. Destroy. I just realized. I, I just kind of internalized and realized I missed against a Wanyamon. How dare. Also, how dare you live. Lol. And then we can just quickly come in here, check you. 95. Which means this will be 96, because I do believe it is 1% per dibbity daw. At least level 2 function call does the thing. Lol, this will probably kill him. I already lost count because brain went on various tangents. This should be like 98 or so. We'll check after this just to be sure. Oh, we're already at 100%. I really miscounted. All right, then we'll run and uh, make a sting mon and see if we can boost him up to 100. We might just bring Stingmon all along for the ride. At that. Pokemon, Clockmon, we can go ahead and create you, I guess. Gotsu, don't care. Tanamon, Toku, Wanya. We'll go ahead and make a Waspmon. Because why not? Sumon, no, no, no. A Gazamon. Might be nice. But I am looking specifically for Stingmon. He is champion. Let's see. Digibank. Stingmon. He can become Infernmon. He needs to be leveled up. And he has two possibilities, but he needs to be... Level CAM 100%. Alright, so we will move Stingmon into this island. Oh, Billionaire USB. I'll have to look at that. I command you, investigate. Command you, uh, develop. And now we'll come over here. You suddenly became the leader. Well, first things first, we're gonna throw lots of CIM up Digimeat at you. And you're already level 17. Oh, I'm a super dumb. We already had a Stingmon. How did. When did we get a Stingmon? My brain. See, this is why I'm not a good leader. We're at 45. Let's feed. You wasted an exciting meat! 
Stingmon. Big CM, don't waste. Okay. Don't you dare waste these. 75. Ooh, if we bring you into the party, we can give you the Friendship DX. Which is safer because you just wasted the other meats. You wasted the meats. Somebody touch my spaghetti. I forgot that brain. Alright, and now we should friendship DX this boy. Sting Mom. Boop. A hundred percent. Alright, now we will move Sting Mom back into farm two. Give me my XV Mom back. And let's see. Sting Mom, can you evolve? Nope, you still need to be a higher level. To get those. But what about you, XV Mon? We're probably not gonna do it. Because now we have these two as possibilities. I'll save and we'll just take a look and eagerly await our next uh, memory up. Unless I have somebody like that I don't mind throwing into storage. Maybe Pixie Mon. Maybe Piximon, but he's a higher level than Lilymon. How did that happen? I think I think I might have given you a level up thingy. Meh. Hmm. Thoughts. What do you even have as your things? Anti panic. Wish I could actually like see your like whole repertoire of attacks. Yeah, we'll quickly move you over to farm two. It probably won't be permanent anyway. But XV Mon, let's take a look at... Well, I guess we could take a look at all of them. So yeah, we'll save these two for last and take a look at all of them. XV Mon, Digivolve 2! Wing Dramon! That does not look like a Digimon! Except for maybe the wings. The weird-ass shoulder wings make him kind of look like a Digimon. But otherwise, well, I guess maybe like the head color and the, like the breastplate is kind of... Also, I just realized that I put Piximon away and didn't save. Oh, you have to actually select them. Extra interesting. And now we'll take a look at this one down here. XVMon Digivolve 2. Rise Greymon with a fucking revolver for an arm. This would be a badass if we, like, used an Agumon. But Agumon was a very... Apparently very hard to get. Exceeded memory. But yeah, Rise Greymon definitely looks interesting. But again, because we're going from an XV Mon up, I just feel like we should follow, like, probably one of the. Because, again, the. Okay, XV Mon. Digivolve. To. Magna Angemon. Definitely interesting, but even less likely to uh, keep that one, purely on the fact that it is bibbidi-bop. Like, very much different. Like, imagine if, like, <laughs> every single time the Digimon from the anime Digivolve, they, like, Digivolve to a different version. Okay, so we had weird... Not Digimon looking dragon, Rise Greymon, Magna, 
Let's take a look at this one. DNA Digivolution. Stingmon. Consume Stingmon. If I did Digivolve, would he come back? DNA Digivolve 2? This horrible abomination. Dino Beamon. I guess that is definitely DNA Digivolution. But the design does not stick with me. Dino Beamon. Not also the name kind of sucks. Why couldn't it be called something like Extingmon? Like Extingmon seem well, kind of like extinguish. And let's try this one. Consume the Stingmon. Stingmon and XVmon. DNA Digivolve 2. Heldramon. I think I had a model of this guy. Well, model. It was like a small action figure. Increases damage received. Oh. Oh, that's a very bad downside, my dude. That's a very bad downside. But now I have to know. Will I get Stingmon back? From the looks of it, no. It literally was consume. So DNA Digivolution is a grind that is, a, is basically permanent. The moment that you go... DNA Digivolution this, you are committing one of them to the ether. I don't think I like that design, because this game does encourage, does encourage D Digivolution. Hmm. Level 30 or higher. Well, and what are your current stats, my dude? Speed... Wait, no, defense. So... You'll get there eventually, but wait, no, that should, they'll be the same things. They won't be different, because it's DNA Digivolution. So... Hmm. So if I had to, I guess I'd go with Pale Dramon. We'll wait until a... Bibbidi Bop. It'll be very interesting. I got him on. There's that one, which I know what it is. Wait, we forgot to look at the... Okay, we'll be a bit longer because I forgot to... Look, since Paledramon's the one that we're probably going to go for, I'll quickly take a look. And let's see. Paledramon can digivolve into only one more... ABI! So we need an ABI up. Because there is no way in hell I am de digivolving you. No way in hell I would de digivolve you. But yeah, we'll wait for a memory up and then probably bring Pale Dramon. Crap, there's lots that we can do. Although, now that XVmon is basically at max... Yeah, we should see. Is there any other Digimon that I would want to bring onto the team? Maybe Aquilamon to try and get that... Let's see. We can send you here. Is there anybody... That is, like, similar. We don't care about Stingmon. Maybe Aquilamon? Because you are champion. Uh, like, what type are you? You're also, you're also that. Hilarious. So we could probably bring you along. Maybe. Hmm. How do I think about it? Is there anybody here... You could Digivolve, but you still have... Actually, you're not that far away. Should I? 
we have already saved, so... First, let's take a look at this abomination. Oh yeah, we... I, I thought that silhouette was familiar. Pandamon. And then we'll go shift X Vmon out again. Oh, we'll have to take his items. Give us your stuff. That can go to somebody else. X Vmon can be moved to the beat. Then we can come Digivolve Gatomon. Into the only right answer. Anjawamon. Very nice. Magic attack. Oh yeah, and what's your special special? Wrong button. But we can also look. Ha, huh, interesting. Very interesting. I think we've seen some of these before. But what are your special? Increases HP recovery effects by 20%. Nice. And hopefully your HP will also go up. Lilymon has three, but requires stats and levels. Piximon has three, but requires ABI for all of them, which is kind of funny. Minervamon and then these other ones. For where Guru Ramon. Cyber Dramon has three. Requires a lot of ABI. We'll have to probably throw some of our dudes into the farm and give them ABI ups. I think that we can like actually buy. No, that's just increases CAM. You can't buy miracle meat. Ah, so darn, it looks like I might have ever so slightly wasted those Miracle Meats on Stingmon. <laughs> the ones that raised the ABI. Well, that's what I get for being a noob at this game. I guess I'll bring Lilymon in. I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot, we also can look at it. We should fill out. Okay, you're already filled out. But I also want to see, since you are not that, I guess I could bishop. <laughs> Double bishop up. And I also want to look. Researcher, large capacity, increases foe drop rate for items, increases yen earned in battle. We've been earning money? Interesting. I have no accessories. Because we need to go to war for that. Combo rate up. Only takes your diddly d down by that much. Then lots of guards and stuff. Now ah, we can give you a fighter disc. You already have a fighter disc and HP up. And we'll give you the other bishop. And I guess the billionaire if you ever get in. Because why not? All right, now we shall continue on our journey after our decently distracted Digivolution section. We shall now head off to look for more Yo Nokia stalking, but it's friendly stalking. I don't remember you always standing there. We'll beat up these guys. Pitiful attack, but at the same time, you are the mage, so it's understandable. <laughs> kind of funny that I actually leveled you up so much. Everything's been so crazy around here lately. Faye went, even went and totally deleted Jimmikin's entire account. 
Then again, things have been bad for a while. Too many attacks. Jimmy going in kind of whack. Of course, the kind of crazy is what makes Jimmy such an interesting guy. <laughs> Still, it's a shame. He was more than just smoke and mirrors and the rock and roll vibe. He was meant to be one of our main guys, after all. I think I'll probably just still... I'll probably still pick up his next album. <laughs> kind of funny that his nickname's Jimmy. I guess we don't really need to. Alright, time for another awkward situation. Hey, do you want to join the Rebels to help protect the Digimon, please? I understand your feelings towards Digimon, but... I honestly doubt the Rebels are going to change anything. That all depends on how hard we try. But the team has just set up recently, right? You guys are no match for the Zaxxons. Whether we are or not, we still have to try. You have to try? Are you sure? Yes, because if we don't, no matter how much time goes by, the Digimon situation won't change. Wow, 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 hold on there. You're the girl who's been going around asking hackers to join you, aren't you? Huh? Who are you? Oh, wait, stop. I don't want to get dragged into this. Oh, but wait, wait. Hey, who are you? You let that guy who's trying to recruit get away. <laughs> you don't know about me because you're an outsider. Huh? Outsider? I am feared, loved, despised, and shunned by the hacker community. I am a legendary hacker of infamy. Then why are you unknown? Legendary hacker of infamy? Don't legendary and infamy mean pretty much the same thing? Huh? Oh, I get it. You're the annoying comic relief character, right? Well, if you're looking for a moron position, I'm afraid I'm not hiring right now. We've got too many morons as it is. Huh? What did you say? Oh no, this is a bad situation. Say what? Self-proclaimed legend. It actually changed his name. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna pound your face into dust. Oh, so you're going to fight me then? You want a battle? You think this might foreshadow something? <laughs> exactly. You get it, Gabumon. Well, if that's how you want it, bring it on. Is this the moment where Gabumon and Agumon digivolve? Akino is in danger. Neon! Huh? Neon? Ah, who the hell are you? Are you our backup? What? I don't have time for this. Let's finish this. Oh, that's... Oh, that's bad. And he gets to go twice, and he has two? That is very rude and kind of stupid. But at least uh, my Lilymon didn't get nuked from orbit. But viruses, huh? Oh, that won't do well at all, no. Hmm. That was close. You'll suffer. Desolation Claw! What? Atomic Blaster! Why are you cheating, game? Game, you're cheating. Okay, so the game's just cheating. I don't like that. Oh, you do you do zero damage. Come on. I've leveled up my Digimon. This is some shenanigans. If this is a forced loss battle, I'm sorry, my dude. This is going to take a while. What? Who is this guy? He's so strong. Because the game's cheating. The game's cheating. Wrong one. The game's cheating. It's very annoying. What's this? I thought he was all talk, but... <laughs> you lose! We have to help Nokia! With all our strength! Give him... Uh, what? Cheating! 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 Of course, you get the cool Digimon. You get cool Digimon that go... You... Nokia is the anime protagonist! And I am upset! Ah, oh, come on, Gabumon. What happened to your bodies? 
I am War Greymon. And I am Metal Garurumon. Our desire to help Nokia has made us Digivolve. D Digivolve? Come on, Nokia. Let's do this. We will show you our power. Yeah, please do your best. One more time. Your health and stats are back to full now. I wonder what he said. Probably said fucking anime bullshit. And they're weak. Ah. Full moon kick. Desolation Claw. Atomic Blaster! I'm still annoyed at the overall of this situation. Meteor Foam! Kick him in the face again. Always kick him in the face. Hell yeah, heals for everybody. Wolken Napalm! Of course, you get the anime bullshit. You get the super anime bullshit. I have to work for it. I've had to work for this! What you've been given! I'm immobilized by the recoil, oh, fuck! Dark Terra Force! Oh, that's very mean. I thought that killed my war my my war Growlmon for a moment. We'll go ahead and annihilate you. Woken Napalm! Atomic Blaster! I think I'll probably use a stu- uh, yeah. HP spray. I have a lot of them. Let's play it safe. Dark Terra Force! Cause he's a jerk. Kick him in the face. And <laughs> there's just War Greymon. Desolation Claw! <laughs> Another atomic blaster. That's not an atomic blaster. My favorite. I'm immobilized by the recoil. About time you decided to do something other than frickin' Dark Terra Force. Punch him in the face with your knuckles. Come on, do a Terra Force of your own! Desolation! Claw! Still shenanigans that the game is like, oh yeah, <laughs> zero damage. I, I take annoyance at that. And I got the medals! Anjuomon is, Anjuomon is level 16 now. I think everybody leveled up. I, I guess I'm not such a legendary infamous hacker after all. Darn! We did it! Thank you too, Neon. But why are you here? I mean... I see you were worried about me, but sorry about that. Gino, that was amazing! Agumon and Gabumon got so strong! Yasu, did you ask Neon to... Yes, yeah, yes I did. To be honest, uh, I'm sorry, I know it's a bit much, but I was worried. Also, you don't need to call me Yasu. Just yes is fine. Yeah, I got it. Thanks, Yasu. Oh no, that's not it. It's, uh, never mind. From now on, we'll all do our best as members of the Rebels, okay? Eh, what's wrong? Woohoo! Alright. See, see you later! 
See, now you know what it's like to be me, Nokia. That guy had a red liquid coming from his nose. What was that about? That's evidence of a direct hit to the love center of his brain by my pheromones. So you evolved too, Nokia? And that's your special move? Awesome! Hey, <laughs> girls like Digimon. We're always evolving. Anyway, Agumon and Gabumon, you guys did really turn into oppressive looking Digimon. It's all thanks to you. We Digimon can only become really strong when we have a close relationship with our master. I will get as strong as I can to protect you. Four Greymon, Metal Gururumon, thank you both. You are the best Digimon I could have asked for. Right, let's get pumped up, Rebels. Time to kick some ass. Anime bullshit. Anime bullshit to the max. And how is Miss Nokia Shiramine? Well, she's not the kind of girl to give up easily. Anyway, that's interesting about Agumon and Gabumon digivolving. I assume this will make Rebels' activities even more intense than before. Attention will now be paid to activities of hers that were previously ignored. Maybe she will be able to change minds after all. Huh? You don't know? Any great historical figure who changes the world is inevitably not appreciated in their own time. They say there's a thin line between foolishness and genuine genius. Genius! Perhaps they are right. Well, this case was a success. My little blah blah blah. Brain and tongue work conjunction. Well, this case was a success. Thanks for the effort you've put in. All bloody crazy. And I got a friendship DX from it. Which it was a miracle meet. You kids and your Digimon are all growing so fast. More than you realize. It's really a lovely sight to see unfold right in front of me. Are you going to be the final boss? I need to discuss Nokia of the Rebels. Can you come to Eden? I understand. I will send a formal request to your office concerning this matter. Hilarious. La Micelle. I have some concerns about Nokia. There's something I need to ask you. Memory up. Memory up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Memory up. Connection jump. So the Zaxxon forums that has been abandoned for five billion years. This is like the first... <laughs> this is the first time you've existed in here. Thank you for coming. How is the Cybersleuth business going for you? Pretty well. I see. You called me here for a reason. Uh, sorry. That was what I sent the request about. Okay, I'll get straight to the point. I want you to put an end to Nokia's activities with the Rebels. Do you understand? Her existence is nothing but an annoyance to me. I want to unite all the hackers once under more under my leadership and restore order to Eden. Why can't you just join forces with the rebels? It would be better to cooperate. Of course you'd say that. This world, this Eden, do you like it? I see. I love Eden. How about we go for a short walk? I want to feel more at one with Eden. Right, let's go to the Eden community area. So we're gonna get more insight into your personality, Hugo. There. How about we talk on that bench? Because honestly, I'd say... Thanks for being around, It's not, but I sent you something. Check it out, really. Interesting. So if I have ultimates, like... You mean this bench? Which bench? I'm sure it'll, like, point to the proper bench. Hmm. Just as I thought, it is indeed a good place. Do you know why Eden was created? Eden was created to set the mind free. This world is the pursuit of a dream to free the self from the shackles of the earthly body. Eden is a truly unique place where people are freed from the obligations of their everyday lives, where they can express their true selves. The developers of Eden worked themselves to the bone trying to achieve such an ideal world. The developers passed their enthusiasm on to the users, and Eden became a haven for the virtuous as they gathered here. But what has Eve become of Eden now? The hackers are on the rampage, oppressing the weak with their evil will, such are the reports flooding in. This world is in turmoil. Eden as it is now is not how it was supposed to be. Not at all. I understand them. 
the developers who poured their hearts and souls into the great ideal that Eden represents. So for that reason, I want to protect Eden. More than that, it is my duty to do so. I will preserve their legacy. Nokia's a good kid. She genuinely loves Eden and Digimon from the bottom of her heart. The hackers, well, tamers, really, who follow her, they are the same as her. And why do you want to eradicate her? So I don't want to get them mixed up in any of this. Myself and those self-centered, egotistical hackers are the only ones who should be at risk. You are the only one who can stop her. Please, I need you to convince her. Well, just the answer I'd expect from you. You get my point, but you can't abandon Nokia, is that it? You are very kind. You always were. Even back then. I just realized something. Where I think this is pointing with the even back then line. I kind of, like, kind of just brushed off the flashbacks to the faceless digital forms of, like, Arata, the main character, Nokia, I assume Yuko, and Yugo. The five digi-destined or so for this game. I kind of forgot that it must have happened years ago. Years and years ago. Especially because the main character said it was the first time they used they used Eden. What if the little, oh, Digidestin get-together that I'd just been brushing off because, oh, ha ha ha, this is just uh, anime shenanigans. What if it happened eight years ago? But then how would they get access to Eden during the initial stages? But yeah, it's just like, that's something I didn't realize. And we might be getting interesting story stuff. That time you sneaked into the head office of Kamishiro. Even then you were always running around concerned for everyone else. Very interesting. Uh, Neon, isn't it? I tried to contact Nokia, but it seems she was caught up inviting someone to join us, so I don't- I didn't get through to her. She said I should contact you if I was ever in trouble. I'm in a bit of trouble here in Kowloon. Please, come help me! What? Wait, no! Stop! Ah! It seems like an emergency. Aren't you going to go help him? I'll come too. See, I want to know more about the backstory. Like, like that bit that they were heading, it's like, it, they've only been kind of poking at it. The, oh yes, this is happening. P things happened in the past. But I really want, I, now, I, now I, my interest has been renewed. I guess we could take a look at the case and say which one. Tamer Kowloon, level four. Well, back to the way up, we'll go to Kowloon level four. I hate that it says Kowloon, but not the level. Rage. And then I keep forgetting that I can't actually, like, look at it. Oh yeah, and level 5 exists. It's been a long time since we've been in Kowloon level 4, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, wait, no, that hurts! Stop! Ah! Huh? Don't say such selfish things! You're talking out of your ass! What? No! Don't lie to me! You called me a has-been hacker, didn't you? No, it wasn't me! I didn't do anything! I didn't say anything about you! Uh, Neon! And is that you go from the Zaxons? Please help! I was just trying to help out Nokia by getting this has-been hacker to us to join us, but, well, this has happened! What? Uh, Neon! You go help! A has-been hacker, eh? We will need to change with the times, too, I suppose. Y you're gonna stand up for that little shrimp? He was mocking us, hackers! So what? If what li if that- what if what that little shrimp blurted out is enough to hurt your pride, then I guess your pride is pretty easily hurt, don't you think? What? What are you talking about? Now you're mocking me, too?! I could easily smash a pathetic poser like you to pieces. Come on, let's go! I don't care if they call you a living legend. Ah, that's just a load of hot air! Neon, let's do it. Bring it on! Mental break! 
He wasn't the smartest cookie to begin with, so you didn't really do anything, fool. Venom trap. Lol. Damn it. Grand Rock 2. Oh, hey, his monstrosity got more monstrous. Desolation Claw! Also, nice having an actual, like, bibbity bop. Hmm. Well, can Napalm 3? Full Moon Kick! Just focus them down one by one. Awesome Quake 1! Not that awesome. Of course all my dudes get poisoned. Atomic Blaster! And a Desolation Claw to go with it. Even if it's not actually the Desolation Claw. And let's go after the Kawagamon. No, not Kawagamon. Something else, man. But he's... Ah, uh, how dare you live? Attack charge field! Ha <laughs> ha Annihilation! Punch him! In the face! And now you're gonna annihilate the little man. Hilarious. Everyone gets leveled up. We're just getting boss fight after boss fight. So this, this is the power of Yugo of the Saxons. He's on a whole different level from me. You have the ability to change, to improve. If you want, you can visit the Zaxon Forum. Our door is open to everyone. Just what I'd expect from Yugo of the Zaxons. Demonic strength and an ability to bring new members in with ease. It would have been better to do this in Nokia. Tell me, why did you join her rebel team? Huh? Why? Um, well, I suppose it's because Nokia is honest. I like Eden. Actually, to be honest, it's more than that. I'm a complete Eden fanatic. I hate what Eden has become. So I wanted to do something about it, but I have no idea what I should do. I was lost. Nokia is protecting Eden and the Digimon in her own straightforward and honest way. When I saw this, I felt like a fool. Like I needed to do something, anything. So I decided I would help Nokia with her simple, honest approach. Ah, I speak of the devil. I'm getting a call from Nokia. I've got to go and take this. It doesn't look like we can stop her. Neon, I have a favor to ask of you. Could you please protect her? Nokia, I mean. You and I are similar, actually. We're being led on a wild goose chase. What do you mean by that? But please be ready. Next time we meet, we will be enemies. Well, that's awkward and weird. What a... Oddness, weirdness. He asked you to protect her. At first, the case was just to hinder her activities, wasn't it? That boy is confused. From what I'm hearing from your story, it sounds like his feelings for Eden and sense of duty are just teenage angst. Ha! <laughs> well, that's good. Most people are not moved by mere words. The possible events of future should propel you forward. Anyway, the boy paid us our fee. Honest and proper, that. He may be a little confused, but he was raised right. <laughs> Hilarious. Actually, it's probably because he was so well raised that he's confused. Huh? An interesting thing to say, but we got a memory up! You managed to attract quite the diverse group of people. You don't know how rare that is in a detective to have that trait. So, oh, are you going to lead war? Please don't le lead war against the rebels. Hackers of Zaxxon, of Kowloon, no, all of Eden, I ask you this. Are you free? Free from involvement, interference, monitoring? Do such freedoms exist in Eden today? And what about Eden's prototype? The birthplace of us hackers, our holy land under zero. 
a space seen as ideal by the creator of this digital world, much freer, offering a better life. Wait. Paradise Lost. Is that... Is your Paradise Lost, Yugo? Under Zero was seized when Eden was launched and turned into an unmanned server to control information. Now it is nothing more than a fortress, outfitted with the toughest security in the world. Under Zero. Our ideal home is now on the oldest of Eden's servers, the Valhalla server. It's time for us hackers to take back our utopia. To bring a new order to Eden. To release it from a freedom filled with monitoring and interference. We Zaxons hereby declare the reclamation of our holy land under zero. If there are any who share in our aspirations, then join us for under zero. Interesting. I wonder if that's implied to have been, like, thrown about everywhere in Eden. Now that was certainly something. That was quite the impassioned speech. I reckon you'll ha make a fine boss someday. If it'll save Eden, I'll put on whatever performance I have to. No matter how foolish. Even if I have to resort to tall tales and legends. If I can just get to under zero. I can redo all of this. I can recreate Eden as its creator originally envisioned. I reckon your your wish will come true, and I'll be with you every step of the way. Odd, weird. Inspired by Yuko's speech, the hackers began to make their way to Under Zero, their holy land. Let's rewind things a bit. Thank you, game. Let us know and understand. How did we get here? Oh, it's me, it's me. You're not busy. No, I didn't think you would be. We're all getting together at Eden Free Area. What a bring. Oh, oh yeah, your nerve and your friendship for Digimon. Okay, see you there. And if you're late, Akino Hell Smash will see you in the hospital. I don't think you have that move. You could have just made an appointment. I'm off to the Eden Free area. You heard me, didn't you? Get to the... You heard me, didn't you? What? You're not Nokia Kyoko. You heard me, didn't you? Get to Eden. Something's causing trouble, so be careful. Five! Farm, farm. They're done with their development. Guess what? Sakura's out of the hospital. She came to school today. Is that good to hear? I'm a bit relieved. I'm back at school after my break. Ryota said you saved me. Thank you. Hmm. Don't push yourself if you're still on the mend. And that's still. And there's just the rank obsessed gamers in my. He's the. He's hogging my other. You should pay rent. We have yeah, the Eden Free Area. Jeez, you're always so late. What is it? Something or other? Working on boss man time? <laughs> there, there, no. There, there, Nokia. Maybe go easy this time. You've got a point. After all, Neon is an important aid to the rebels. I guess maybe I could let things slide. All right, everyone. Here's my helper for today's training. The unstoppable cyber sleuth and new super hacker, Neon the Golden Maniac. Why am I? Why'd you decide my moniker for me? Neon the Golden Maniac? The one who took down the strange hacker group, the Demons? Neon the Golden Maniac? The gifted hacker that successfully managed to infiltrate Kamishiro? That's right, that Neon the Golden Maniac, my total bestie, finest, fiercest confidant. What do you think? Who better to help train the rebels? All right, go on then, Neon the Golden Maniac. What do you want me to do? Okay, I'll go first. Here we go. I'm going to crush you. Huh, you yeah, have a decent team. But, oh, that's not good at all. No, no, 
Smash him. Smash him, crash him, robots. LOL! Then we'll just annihilate you. We won't even swap out. You come at me, you get destroyed. And it's just playing happy music. Eh, Atomic Blaster. We're not gonna swap out, die. Fear my power. <laughs> Way to go, GM. But we're just warming up. Okay, I guess I'm next. Nokia. Nokia. Yeah? It seems like Neon's been kind of a lost in all this. Are you sure you explained everything properly? Well, I chose the nickname Golden Maniac from the way Neon looks. And then GM was just knobby. <laughs> no, that's not what he means. Not that. I'm talking about the training. What? I explained it, didn't I, Neon? I just got jumped by the rebels. What? I didn't explain? Oh crap! You should have said something! You're too quiet for your own good, Neon. What we wanted, Neon, was for you to train them for battle skills. So they'd be stronger against those nasty hackers. That's right. By beating them. The point of the training is not just strength. It's also to deepen our bond with our Digimon. Sort of uh, like our Hot Springs ping pong matches and all night karaoke. If we can pull through those kinds of events, we should be able to achieve true power beyond brute strength. And with that power, we can help the Digimon being misused by hackers in order to make Eden a home for us all. We rebels hereby declare our decision to begin the We Love Digimon Initiative. And you'll join us to train for the dis tra Transcendental Dream. Right, Neon? I guess I have no choice. Finally, such an impassive speech. Akino's bursting with power and devotion. It's fun getting tossed about by the tsunami of her power. This is what true charisma is. It's y y y y y y you go. So this is your dream, and these hackers, they're your team. What are you here for? Has the leader of the Zaxons c come to crush the rebels? If you are a threat to the Zaxons, then that might be an option for me to consider. But from the look of things, there doesn't appear to be any need of that. What do you mean by that? Are you sure saying we're still noobs? You think you could just look down your nose at us? You want to test our power then? Please don't fight, Yugo. What? Well, sure, we were beaten silly last time by that girl, Faye. But do we just take that lying down? But Nokia, Yugo's in a bad hacker, isn't he? I sort of get the impression that he's not. Your Digimon sure do talk a lot. You go. You're a hacker group leader. Hackers will listen to you. Tell them. Tell them Digimon are not just programs. There's something else I need to tell the hackers. Your speech was inspiring, though. What? Nokia. If at all possible, I would rather not fight you. Just don't interfere with me. With Zaxxon. Hey, hang on a second, Yugo. Are you planning something? Yo, hang on, I said! So that's how we got here. We hackers are going to take back our utopia. The Zaxons are going to declare the reclamation of our holy land under zero. If any of you share in our aspirations, then join us for under zero. Oh my, things are coming along nicely. You push them all to the edge very well. Now it's time to her. Now it's down to her to do her part. I'll drop the security level a little to increase their sense of accomplishment. They should easily reach their goal now. Excellent, Akimi. You are a master strategist. But I'm glad. I was worried that I'd pushed her too far, and she might have snapped. <laughs> To stimulate the passion of youngsters such as these. We have an excellent motivational tools. Pressure from the authorities, family ties, and despair itself. Youngsters are wonderful. The frustration, dreams, and hope they get from a gloom-filled society. And the mere pressure of despair you add, the more you sublimate it into a vibrant passion. So very bright, it dazzles my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I 
How'd I look? Did I get the villain thing right just now? <laughs> That's what I love about you, Akimi. And now we just sit back and wait for them to get completely violent with each other. All as I have planned, of course. And now she does the crazy laugh. What is going on? I'm quite lost. So you were training with them all night long. You're too much of an easy mark. You'll never have enough time with Nokia. She'll use you up and spit you out. No, thank you. Hey, you're here. You're here. What are you doing here? Oh, and we have Arata as a bonus. What do you mean as a bonus? Haven't you heard? The Zaxons are on board the Under Zero invasion. Yeah, it seems that's all the hacker community can talk about now. Did you know, Arata, that Under Zero is a hacker holy land? You probably don't care, though. What? A holy land? Don't be absurd. It's just an old outmoded area on some old outmoded server. Well, you should see the look in their eyes when they talk about taking it back. Actually, there are some among the rebels who have taken special training and want to show off. They're planning to join in. Well, the leader being who she is, it's no wonder the simple-minded are coming together. Harumph! What do you say, Neon? Do you want to go take on Under Zero 2? It'd, it'd be like climbing a mountain, because it's there. Or crashing through a wall, because it's there. And this could be a chance to raise our public awareness level. Well, my, my having formed a tamer group and all. If the rebels manage to beat Zaxxon and breaking into Under Zero, we'll rock it into superstardom. And then we could promote our... Quit while you're ahead. That's not a place newbies like you are going to be able to reach. You'll be beaten out of your own game. Whoa, 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 hey! Who are you calling a newbie? We piled on the special train to become extra strong, right, Neon? Fine, I'll go by myself, and I'll definitely get in there before the Zaxxons do. Why do you even want to go there? Leave her be. If she gets herself hurt running off half-cocked, it's her own fault. <laughs> oh, dang it, forget it, we're going after her! Under Zero is way too dangerous. If things go the way they did last time... Last time? Anyway, we have to go after Nokia. I've got a little prep work to do first. Let's meet in Eden. This feels like Endgame. Eight! Alright, so... My bad, I sent you a message for a date to view by accident. Pay it no mind. What do you mean? Hey, it's finally time to show the hackers what happens when you mess with the rebels. Well, don't push yourself too much. Hey, you went to K Cafe and didn't bring some mayo. Don't... Why? Why? Why mayo? Huh? Well, all right. <laughs> Pay it no mind. I honestly have no idea what you're trying to say. Utterly mad. To the detective agency. I'll quickly go in, grab whatever things will be given. Just HP capsules and stuff. I'll leave it be. Wait, we also got... Memory up. Now we go to 85. Are there any Digimon that can Digivolve? Nope. What about you, Cyberdramon? Nope, plus you need lots of ABI. Where Gururumon? Nope, but can become Metal Gururumon Black. But again, ABI is an issue. Pixiemon is a no. Lilymon is a no. Anjuwamon is also a no. Lol, you need a Lady Devimon. Well, I guess that could mean that we could... Uh, Digivolve XVmon into... Uh, let's see. DNA Digivolution, let's go ahead and consume you. And let's see if we can bring him over. Nope, way too much. But at least that means he can level up in there. Hmm. 
Plus, I don't think adding another Digimon would help that much. Just want to make sure. Nope, no new cases. Just property, property, property. Up, off we go to Eden. Probably for the end game. For Eden entrance, I suppose. Well, I, once again, I could just check my case for the ambiguity. Or not. He said we'll meet in Eden. Well, I guess I'll log out and talk to Kyoko, see what she has to say. The multi-levels of where do I go? I've got a bad feeling about this, and any good detective knows the trust has got. Won't hurt to act cautiously. He just said meet in Eden. Maybe in the free area. Because that might be our new place. Maybe. He's just said, let's meet in Eden. Where in Eden, my my bros have stolen? Do you mean the original place, Galactica Park? Could just say Galactica Park. Hmm. We should probably keep this team, it seems sturdy. And even if we run into vaccines, it shouldn't be terrible. Nope, not here. What, to Kowloon level 5? Where do you want me to go? Let's see. Nope. He still says, no, no, get back, no, no. Maybe lady who I've forgotten the name of because she's just the Digilab assistant. Friends in Eden? Yeah, but where in Eden? I know in Eden, but where in Eden? So I'm going to assume not any Kowloons. Maybe Zaxxon? There's nobody here. I guess they all went off to invade under Zero and Valhalla. And that just leaves the various things. So let's go to the community area, I suppose. Yep, here we are. As always, Nokia's moving ahead in, on impulse alone. It's like, it looks like she's gotten quite far too. The other hackers have gotten into Valhalla server and are heading up for under zero. That was quick. Something doesn't smell right though. The Valhalla server shouldn't have gone down so fast. Either you go invited us in, or someone else did. Either way, it reeks of a trap. Anyway, we won't catch up with Nokia taking the direct route, but there is a shortcut. You sent me a URL? This is a secret passage my comrades and I dug out way back when. I we took down Valhalla once before. Really? We can reminisce later. We'd better hurry and get to, Val to the Valhalla server. Oh, whoops, can't say anymore. <laughs> I'm going to assume the troublesome business is the attack on Valhalla. You can go to Valhalla server now! Sure, let's just go to the Valhalla server. Alrighty. This place is probably going to have ultimates raining down on us as random encounters. Okay, where's Nokia? It doesn't look like she's around here. We'll just have to press on and look for her. And I don't have any revives if it comes to it. Did you get an encrypted message from Matayoshi? He sent it to you by mistake. I hear you're helping your friends. No problem. Just don't neglect the clients. All right, got it. Huh. Oh, you wrote something. I couldn't read it. Oh, he wrote something. I'm going to... You know what? I gave Sakura a bouquet of roses to show her how I feel. So, what was the result? Oh, and now I get it. You ran away midway through is what it probably meant. All right. Let's see. 
We need to bust down Valhalla. This place is very futuristic looking. Got export. I never use those. And I guess this is a very much a kind of shortcut in because none of this is like... And we haven't even run into any Digimon. Never mind. Okay, there we go. I don't know what level you are. You are a virus type, so... Bibbidi bop. I'll smack you. I should probably go through my Digimon's... Like, actual abilities again, because it's been a bit. Nightmare 2! So that wasn't terribly bad. Gave a lot of experience, though. Okay. Aquamarine 2. All right. Let's, uh, settings. Let's see. Venom Trap. Power energy neutral. Attack break. Decreases one's foe's attack by 10%. Hmm. I guess I'll put on a neutral... Well, we have... That's what Desolation Claw is for, but... Meh. I guess if we run into a boss that takes a long time, we'll use that. And we can decrease their defense. We'll give you a fire move. And Comet Hammer 3. Rune Forest? Anti-Paralysis. I guess it wouldn't be bad to have that. So yeah, Anti-Paralysis and Anti-Poison. I doubt I'll use Anjuwamon because he's... Bit. Let's X healed. Removes confu- oh wait. Restores the edge just to one, so yeah. There we go. New data set has been applied. We got Aquamarine, so that implies that we're gonna be able to sell stuff. Well, I guess that- Oh boy! Three revival capsules! That's actually really good, considering we haven't gotten any since, like, the first half of the game. Okay, that's terrifying. Damage up! Beat him up! <laughs> Annihilate, more like. Vaccine. <sighs> Nightmare 2! Vulcan now palm through! Actually killed. Good job. More and more level ups. More and more level ups. Yes. Alright, now that we got to this section, we'll save again. Just to be safe. And head on in. Oh, there's a whole line, the whole section that we get to walk. Neat. Hello. What the hell was that? How are those dump thugs so freaking strong? Especially that chick leading them. I mean, damn! I couldn't understand a word out of that mouth, but she was crazy tough. She did get random ultimate levels. So yeah, Nokia just going in, beating up everyone. I could see that. I heard someone already made it under, to under zero. I gotta hustle if I want to see it. Okay, I don't see, so it's mostly just decrypt in the middle. Grab the items. All right. We want the... Uh, ah, code scan. Oh, 
Unlock code. Pattern red error. Pattern red error. I don't know, but no matter what, my feelings towards her won't change. Reading it like an old cell keyboard, it says, Meet me meet at the cafe as planned. Huh. Farm development kit. So, red error, red error. Farm expansion plugin. Oh. I was on the inside. I need to be on the outside. So I'm going to assume it wants red, red. Copy and paste. We can grab the item on our way in as well. Oh boy. Well, they're... This should be super damaging for you. Get out of here. LOL. They don't seem terribly hard. Annihilate them one by one. This one will probably get out and attack, but oh well. Welcome to the pump through! How dare you live! You didn't even do that much, but you did paralyze the boy, so now you must die. So violent when the knockout hit hits at the end, like that. Just slam, slam. I get grab item. HP capsule B. So yeah, it should just be red, red, error, red, error. I don't know why, that sounds ominous. Just the sound effects there. All right. I'm gonna grab the item and then give red. Comet Hammer! Beat him up! Vaccine on vaccine. Let's see. Comet hammer. Let's see. It kills. Yay. Though it could just also be from the levels up. We've gotten stronger and can nuke them from orbit. And we got some sprays. This run down again. Comet hammer this man. Get him out of here. Destroy ya. And Woken Napalm 3 for good measure. How dare you live? How dare you paralyze the boy? Ah, oh, you didn't paralyze the boy. Good for you. And we're just gonna end the same way again! Hello and welcome to repeats. Alright, now we just need to head down there, activate it, and see if it works. It should. Because it's like, oh, red error, red error. Unlock code, pattern red error, pattern red error. Does that mean... Uh, let's see. Can we get rid of blue? Well, now we'll probably just take blue. Can I... Let's decrease... 
encounter rate just ever so slightly. Because now we're in the wacky random section. All right, copy and paste. Oh, hey, Leomon is a random encounter. Nice to meet you, nice to see you. Nuke from orbit. That poor Gaumon evolution. Get out of the way, Leomon. Die like you always do in the anime. Go and I guess plug in blue into you because maybe it, it, red is error and blue is good. It's reverse psychology. Um. Oh, I'm I'm super dumb. That's the natural red. Now I have to run all the way back. Destroy the poor blue puppy. Destroy the big man, the Big Mac. blue again and then go all the way up because I forgot that the red spawned below. Not the other way around. Also, can I just say that Stealth Hide has done nothing? It was like for that one story segment and then was never used again. Like maybe that was like something cut and like, during development, they wanted to use the hack functions more in the digital areas, but I don't know. Copy and paste. All right, I think that's it. Red was the error. Blue was the correct. It was reverse psychology all along. Ah, uh, the big and threatening group again. Comet Hammer you, because you're triply weak. Both element and type. Uh, hey, now that's one we can get under to destroy. No more repeats. That does mean that you're probably going to get a shot off. Ah! Ah! Anger and pain. And luckily it hit the guest party members, so doesn't do anything to me. Die. And now, did, did my defense run out? These are very, going very fast. Goodbye, blue puppy. Throw rocks at him. Throw rocks at him. Rocks from space. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! There are level <laughs> more that have meet maxed level. All right, even though it's probably a, lots of walking, let's go ahead and save. So yeah, either this both feels like a climax and not. It feels like there's too much left to the side. Sure, it's not easy to get in, but it sure as hell ain't impregnable either. Although maybe it's a little late to start getting pumped. Lol. Well, 
deeper in we go. Let's a go. Let's go ahead and talk to this hacker. My, my Digimon, they got wiped out. They'll be okay. I just gotta find a way to heal them. Security always left Digimon alone before. What was so different about today? Why? Yeesh. Alright, very interesting. Although I should probably... Eh. Let's escape. Well, speaking of that... Oh, I already have it activated. Let's try and get to the middle and do all the things and then we can work... I do it smartly. Alright. Code scan. Code scan bottom left. Pattern blue error, green error. Yellow okay. So okay. We need to grab yellow, which is up here. Oh hey. Nokia's down there. So, yellow, bottom left. Bank expansion drive. Just lots of rare items over here. We'll talk to you and then grab the yellow. Hello, Zexon. No, this is as far as I can go. It's all up to the captains now. Good luck to you all. Copy and paste for the bottom left. Since you've decided to come out to die, welcome to die. Oh, Jesus. I think I could just attack you to death. Lol. Vulcan Napalm 3. Don't miss. How dare you live either way. I punch you. Now kill with a punch of your own. Ooh, uh, another fighter patch. Just lots of digi lines. Blah, blah, blah. You are not real. You do not talk. Also, don't, don't think I didn't notice how you went ha ha ha. Nokia's Digimon talk more than other Digimon. Copy and paste. Code scan. Bottom right. Green okay. Green okay, but where's green? Okay, green's over here. We shall grab a green. Copy and paste. Yeah, I was wondering for a moment why nothing was happening. No sounds. It's like, did I do it right? Did I fail? And then the <laughs> I picked the right ones. Because now the top two will probably be... To the all left. All right, code scan. Unlock code. Green, okay. Never mind. I would have been had. And code scan this. Telling me your information. Pattern blue. Purple was never used. Saves me going up there. 
Now we'll just grab the item. Grab the blue. And then pro another memory up for my, my birthday. Even if we don't really have much... Well, I guess it'll be nice for when we do slash can digivolve our current setup a little bit. But at the same time, they can get pretty high level, and it's probably better to keep them high level for the coming days. You don't want to digivolve them all too much, or else you'll run into issues. Copy and paste. And I can't move, so I'm assuming it's good. You'd think there would be more like just the, the desecrated bodies of hackers laid strewn across this very this server. That looks like under zero. Yugo and the others must have made it already. Hurry up, rebels. Let's do this. You've really outdone yourself, you little hellion. I'm just glad things haven't gone any further than they have. Ah, Neon and Arada. You're coming with us, too? You guys, hey, what gives? You're too late to stop me, you know. Oh, now I get it. You're gonna have me go in first, take out the baddies, and then you waltz in and nab all the goodies for yourselves. You sneaky, no good, rotten, manipulating cowards. I'm not letting you do that. No way, nah. -uh. It's nothing like that. Jeez, just calm down. I just don't want you anywhere near under zero. <laughs> Lol. That's... It's juicy meat on the bone for Jaja. For Jaja. Juicy meat? It's a legendary meat that only certain celebrities are allowed to eat. Starving beasts. You want some? I know you do. Here you go. Lol. Hey, where are you going? Wait up, you guys. Ah, she's so naive. This is why I say she's just a collection of single-celled organisms. Okay, then. We've come this far. There's no turning back now. Along the way, I'll stop you going to Zaxxon's too. You with me, aren't you, Neon? Because we gotta do this. Hilarious. That we just distract War Greymon and Metal Gururumon. The other day, Ryota gave me a bouquet of roses to celebrate my discharge. Is that right? That's right! Spoke to some kids for each day. Their idea of family made me miss home a bit. When do you think you'll come back to Japan? Also, new music. Although, Nokia ki going kind of straight to, you're just here to steal all the glory. Is kind of silly. They're hacking into... Don't tell me that's gonna be Apocalypmon. Are these the only hackers who've made it to this far? There's fewer than I expected. I heard that frumpy brat's back, voice back there. Reckon she must have gotten them to stay behind. Nokia. Okie dokie, Hugo. This here firewall's the final bit of security. Once I break through security, the troop behind Eden will be mine, and I will personally be able to restore order. He'll be the leader of the hackers for sure. No, all of Eden. The leader of Eden. Don't make me laugh. Looky here, I was wondering who that was. Well, well, if it isn't Arada, former leader of the Judes. Say, wasn't it your team that had to go at under zero all those years ago and failed before finally disbanding in disgrace? Eh, you know your stuff. Be a good dog like the loser you are. Run along home now. Get. Yeah, we failed, all right. But it wasn't the security that did us in. Right after we broke through, something attacked us. Before we knew what was happening, we had our accounts destroyed and lost, that, lost access to Eden. That thing was nowhere near as easy as the security was. Some of my buddies, they went crazy from the fear. Even the guys that were okay, they saw what they were up against and lost confidence in themselves. They quit being hackers, so I disbanded the team. 
I came to warn you. Keep away from under zero if you don't want to see your friends hurt. What proof do you have of this story's true? Your coming here out of concern for our well-being lacks a little in the convincing department. The truth is, I came to stop that idiot, Nokia. But then I couldn't just stand by and let that thing prey upon you guys, too. It's not right. Even if what you say is true, I have my reasons for not being able to stop now. Even knowing the risks I face, there's something I must obtain. Eh, get your nose out of our business. I'm right sick of looking at your face. Take a hike. <laughs> you think I came here with just two of us? You're so naive. <laughs> his band of friends. From his quests. Sorry I'd have kept you in the dark about this. These guys are my old buddies. The former members of the Judes. I brought together my old teammates who broke into Under Zero once before. For one last rumble. Looks like we've got a little fight on our hands. <laughs> You're a funny one. We'll defeat your legendary team of has-been hackers, because we're the top dogs in Eden now, not you! So I guess I'm gonna fight you. Hang on a second! Lol. To stamp out selfish evil for the sake of the world, for people and for Digimon. We are the rebels, a bridge of hope here now, uniting both Digimon and humans. Let there be no more talk of has-been hacker teams and top dogs of Eden without me. You hackers who push demons around, listen up! Digimon are not just mere programs. They are life forms in and of themselves. You must release your Digimon immediately and embrace them as friends. <laughs> Lol. The one thing you're good at, as always, is sucking all the energy out of a room, you frumpy little brat. It seems neither side will be willing to walk back down. Hm, that'll make this simple then. Reckon the last team standing wins, right? If that's how it's gonna be, then you're on. I'm ready. There's no way I'm losing. Now, attack! So it's gonna be a battle royale? Lol. So who am I fighting? <laughs> Figures. If I win, you'll settle down and listen to me. Deal? Very well. I don't plan on losing, though. <laughs> you always have to get the last word. Says you. Then there's me. I don't get last words. Lol. A virus type, huh? And you're weak to this. Actually, I'll use Comet Hammer 3. You have a lot of health. That, that didn't do much. Desolation Claw God break And you don't do much damage yourself. Oh, there comes the damage. Atomic Blaster. Comet Hammer! This is gonna be a beef gate of a beef beef gate of a fight. I guess I'll use Comet Hammer as well. Lol. Don't double mock rush. Oh, that used both of his for some reason. Grand Rock, I guess. I need to up that. Log on. That's not good at all. Attack break! You're not getting more attack than you need. I'll use this. For SP capsule, well, let's see. Ah, eh, let's use B. Oh, I meant to do a spray. Ah, eh, well, Cyber Dramon is kind of the better one. Desolation Claw. Infinity Cannon. 
Oh, that's not good at all. HP spray. Let's see. I have... Let's do this because it's a thousand. And let's do the SP spray. Uh, we'll just use an SP capsule. Because don't need to waste a spray when everyone else has good SP, but wear Garurumon. Overheat! Because he, yeah, I guess log on was his special. I guess I'll use a Comet Hammer. Comet Hammer! Comet Hammer! Ah, uh, you're gonna heal? Lol. I think, actually, Comet Hammer is the better option. Never mind. Comet Hammer 3! Wear down the Metal Man. Oh, you're gonna log on again. When you don't have many turns coming up? Foolish. Comet Hammer! Atomic Blaster! Full Moon Kick! Kick him out of here! Ah, shnikes. Desolation Claw! Get out of here, Hugo! You're not leader of this world! Memory up DX! You seem to still have it. <laughs> you too. I taught you old school hackers. I thought you old school hackers wouldn't know how to use Digimon programs. We've got a geek class specialist in Digimon work. It's very important to have, well, you know. Me? We also have a real pain in the butt. As I said, Digimon are not programs. How many times do I have to tell you? It don't matter. We ain't interested. I only care about one thing, and that's Yugo. Yugo is my everything. To know Yugo, to protect Yugo, that is my purpose in life. All I want is Yugo. Just her. Her. And now the thing is, I don't know if that implies something about Yugo, or if it's just the bad translation striking again. Remember, Bakemon create labyrinths. Well, I didn't know you could be sincere. In spite of your gross personality, that was kind of sweet. Wait a second. Her. Okay, it was meant to be. I just noticed something. You and me are a lot alike. What? Hang on! What are you talking about? N knock it off of that nonsense. Dream minds hate alike. What? What do you mean by that? That's enough chit chat. I don't. I doubt you're much different from before. I'll tan your hide, ready? Do I get to play as Nokia again? I took a crash course and beefed up my skills. It won't go down as easily as last time. So, as you say, I'll mess y'all up. And she has a three Digimon team. Very rude. And dumb, apparently. Oh, it attacks all. Hell yeah. Terra Force! Oh, that's not good. That's double not good.
Let's try and survive. Terraform! No, no, it's Woken Napalm. Why are you focusing, my boy? Well, not my boy. Of course you have a tamer's... Ah, so you're a cheater. Cheater, 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 cheater. Fine, then we'll just keep doing these then. The strategy doesn't matter. Terra Force! Because I'm immortal, apparently! So much for training in bonds? What bunk? You're nothing but talk and cheap talk at that. It's over. Babe, bye bye. No. No, this is not over. Not in our hot spring ping pong matches. Not our all night karaoke. And not the super love Digimon strategy to the max, because it's about to begin right now! Oh, are you going to evolve? Really? What? You're DNA digivolving them? Of course. Okay. Hope you know what you're doing, Nokia. You are the anime protagonist, even though you haven't really done all that much to fill out a season. I'm gonna have to fight that now, won't I? Yay. What just? Oh, did you see the miracle that the bond between me and my Digimon just made happen? Hey? Ah, Morgan and Morgan, what happened to you guys? Get out. You whipped out that Digivice like the cat what ate the canary. You're saying that was just a wing and a prayer? I'm Omnimon. I was summoned by the pure bond of friendship. Yeah, yeah, of course you were. Just like I knew it was going to happen, because I totally knew it the whole time. All right, Faye, no more Mrs. Nice Guy. This time you're going down. Transcendent Sword. Of course, I honestly think if I tried to fight Omnimon, I would lose. Eh, let's just annihilate them all. So this is what the bosses feel like. Supreme... All of your attacks are unique animations. Why? Ah! I want to be this anime. Except for Saint Knuckle. But still, that's a funny way to go. Of course, you get the anime. Get out of here. Faye, what on the earth is that Digimon? Well, it seems we have a winner. Or do you want to keep going? Why do you have to interfere? I just want to save the world that was my father's dream! Hey, hey, what's going on? Your mannerisms are suddenly all feminine. Oh... I got it. You go... Was... You go... Was probably the first... Eden Syndrome Casualty. Yugo, the actual Yugo, who became the ghost, the pale boy of Eden, ha ha has never been this Yugo. This is Yuko using Yugo's account!
And it always has been. Hi, hi, hi. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. <laughs> You've done a great job. I really admire you, sweetie. Miss Ray, why don't you just go put your feet up? Your part in this show is over. Your role as Yugo is to bring everyone here. And according to our scenario, once everyone is here, what comes next? Fuck. What is this? What's going on here? <laughs> you little hackers are really stupid. No idea you are being played this whole time. You just blindly came along for the ride. I'm going to take your unripe mental energy and squeeze and squeeze every last drop all for me. And it's even happening in the... Oh, yeah, because they could send targeted shit now. Targeted digi-waves or whatever. Omnimon, help! If one... I... Can you... Here... Ois? It's Kyoko! It seems I finally got through. I don't think I have long, though. What's going on? What the heck is this? As far as I can tell, someone has sent a high-density digital wave to your area. Someone. It's gotta be Kashibe. What do you- what do we actually do about it? The answer is relatively simple. Eaters are attracted to digital waves. That being the case, you have to stop the digital wave at its source. Do that, and no more eaters should appear. You make it sound so easy. Just plug up the source. How do we manage that? I'd understand what's going on, but I'm not letting myself get swallowed up by something- by nothing. What's happening? Help! <laughs> ah, shut up! I'll explain later. So just shut it! No matter what condition you are in, you all move at pace. I'm a little relieved. You should be able to at a tight spot. I'll have a part of my special blend waiting. Make sure you come safely. Her special blend? Is that what she said? I'm so happy I could cry. The source of the digital wave. I think that's it. For the time being, let's have a temporary truce. We gotta plug that hole. Miss Ray, why? Why would you do this? Because she's a bitch. This isn't the time for fretting about that! That's right. If the eaters keep spreading, we'll be in danger, too. Garuru Greymon, <laughs> any ideas? Garuru Greymon? Since Metal Garurumon and War Greymon merge, your name should be Garuru Greymon. Or do you prefer Grey Garurumon? I'm Omnimon. You can call me that. <laughs> ah, who cares what you're called right now? Do you have any ideas or not? The eaters are being manipulated by a high-density digital wave. In addition to the source, there are connection pointers feeding the digital wave. We'll have to shut them off as well. Oh, look up there! Up there! Very well. I will go plug the openings. You two, watch after Nokia for me. Protect her from the eaters until I return. Ah, I guess we have no choice. They're here! And I don't have any... Bibbidi-bobs. I don't have any Godomons to cheese this. Great. But we still do decent damage. But uh, actually they don't do that bad. Until they start using their actual di- Because that's the thing. They do skill damage. Up in here. I fear the day that they'll use their actual skills to do damage. Totally not Atomic Blaster. Still hilarious that that happens. We need to get this... Mm. Let's go crazy! Obliterate them all! Wow, that killed it? Why?! Do full damage as much as you can! Ah, uh, no level ups, though. Is Omnimon gonna die? We can't keep this up forever. It, should, it would be better to destroy them, but there's no proof that would stop them. What would you do, Nokia? <laughs> I know what you'd do, Nokia. 
You'd act before thinking. <laughs> Lol. Are we gonna have to fight the body one? Oh, they're really starting to outnumber us now. What should we do? That's... Ah, what? No way, Yugo? You're kidding me, but Yugo's right here! That can't be... my brother? And they're leaving because of Yugo. The eaters are fleeing. Yugo! Yugo! So that, then that was Yugo just now? There are two Yugos? Both of them are Yugo? What the heck? A brother. Uh, hi, Miss Ray, what are you? Stop! Did she just log out? Wait, I bet someone in the real world forced her to, uh, forced her to log out. Digital Link, a go! Ah, no, they're both gone. Was that a connection jump? I've never seen one before. Oh, well, this is freaky as fuck. Oh my, you're awake! Welcome home, Yuko! M Miss Ray! You were controlling those monsters. Then that means every Eden Syndrome case has been because of you. Oh no, I wasn't doing it all from the very beginning. But I was fascinated by the existence of eaters. I knew there was a way to control them if I only looked hard enough. The experiments were a big success. All that's left to do is tear down the world's walls. And to do that, I'll need your mental data, your memories. Work with me just a little bit longer, dear Yuko. Hello, bitch. Uh, oh my, it's you. Looks like your annoying little friend followed you back. That ability of yours is getting a tad bit bothersome. Would you mind getting out of my hair? There, now that nuisance is out of the way. Miss Ray! Now you mustn't move. You have to relax your first time. Jesus Christ, Miss Ray! What's great about the terminal is that not only can I log into Eden with any avatar I want, it creates the personality and imports it as memories into the digital world. Did you not catch on, dear Yuko? You thought you were the real Yugo when you were logged in as Yugo, but no, I created that personality. No, no, that was of my own free will. Your own free will? There's hardly any of that left. If your free will was in charge, you'd never have taken part in that farce to fool all those hackers. To fool the hackers? I did that to those hackers? <laughs> in other words, this terminal can spoof your memories via the digital world. Uh, it can write them in and, of course, extract them. Well then, shall we begin? I'm going to steal all your secrets. <laughs> Horrifying. It seems there have been some rapid developments. Regardless, I'm glad you're okay. Watch out for cars. I should be able to calculate Yuko's position from your Digivice's log data. Start by returning to the agency. I'll contact Arata and y Nokia. Hmm, I understand your excitement. I suppose it's only natural. Yet now is when you must remain calm. You must understand the situation before you act. Yes, that's precisely why you are my assistant. That was really intense. And his friends. Arata! There's a lot I don't understand, but there's one thing I know for sure. I know who the enemy is. And what do we do about it? She played us off our fools, mocking our pride. I have to avenge our fallen comrades as a lone hacker. Arata! Okay then, you need to go home before you get in over your head. She has Omnimon. Ah, Guru Greymon. Thank you for helping us. I'm Omnimon of the Royal Knights. Oh yeah, Omnimon. Um, Royal Knights? There's something important I have to tell you. Once I merged into Omnimon, I was able to remember why I came to this world. Something important to tell me? The reason you came to this world? Not really following you, but okay. Just leave it all to Nokia. Nokia. It's not just the digital world that faces a grave danger. The world you live in is threatened as well. You will be involved in a greater fight than the one you've been embroiled in thus far. Will you lend us your aid? Yeah, of course we will. 
Even if the whole entire world is against us, and even if something gross falls on for my hot bod, I'll keep fighting for you as long as my heart goes on. Nokia. Thank you. There's, after all, something familiar about you. Okay, let's go. Our battle begins now. Hey, idiot. Talking like that makes it sound more like the end of the beginning. Yugo. No, Yuko. I'm begging you. Please be safe. Utter madness that all just went down. You're late. Look at the TV. They're covering the Andrew Zero incident. The reports are saying the mass outbreak of Eden Syndrome was caused by hacking activity in Eden. It's a unilateral indictment against hackers. And of course, there's not a single word on the mastermind, Kishibe. At the very least, the scheme paints Kishiro as the victim and hackers as the perpetrators. Kishibe laid the blame on the hackers and must still be using Yuko Kamishiro to further the Paradise Lost plan. Why was it necessary to sick the eaters on the hackers? Kashibe flooded under zero from massive digital wave to control the unpredictable eaters. That must have been just an experiment. Eaters and the digital wave to see whether or not it was possible to control them both. She was able to wipe out the hackers she had been manipulating. So it was two birds with one stone. You were the bait. Why did Kishibe abduct Yuko? I don't have any clues as to that. However, Kishibe's plan must be nearing its climax, and Yuko is the key to its final stage. Rea Kishibe finally mastered control over the flow of digital waves. This had eluded her until now. The Paradise Lost plan could start at any moment now. We need to find Yuko Kamishiro, fast. We'll check your log information for that. At the same time, we must figure out what the true objective of this plan is. What does, he achieve, what does she achieve by being able to control digital waves? That's the crux of the Paradise Lost plan. We've got data on the latest labyrinth events and, and new info on digital wave flows. If we compare them, we should be able to predict conclusively where digital waves will occur. That locus will, in all likely, be focal point of her plan. It'll take some time to verify all this. Please, wait a little longer. Neon, you're safe! Woo! Omnimon wants to talk to you. Can you come to the Zaxxon Forum? We can keep a low profile there, so I'll see you there. It'll take time for Kyoko to finish her analysis. I might as well go. Chapter 11, Paradise Lost. The final chapter, it seems. I wonder what Matayoshi was doing about all that. What Dia Diaboromon special move shoots energy balls from his chest? Catastrophe cannon. Hmm. Oh, I guess there was more. Hmm. I just sworn there was more. Let's see, anything? Nope, nope, just go, which is understandable. Which means I think we shall end it here because we have. Uh, we're, the next bit will probably be the super duper final bit. So we might just have the finale next time, perhaps. And I just feel like this is the perfect like end will be the ne this next chapter. And then 12 will probably be like an epilogue. Lol. But we still... That's another thing. We still need to figure out what happened the years ago when we were all children. And... Like, were we a part of Arada's, like, gang? And we all forgot? Like, I don't know. Because we keep... Arada and I, Nokia and I, we kept getting flashes. And then there's Yugo, the ghost boy, who engraved something into our data. A lot of weird stuff still need to figure out, so... There's probably one or two more streams in this. But yes, I shall save. Well, first, memory up DX for 100. If we wanted to, we shall save and head to the main menu. Well, yeah, that was that was a fun chapter, even if it was. <laughs> I feel like the the rebels should have been like foreshadowed a bit more, instead of just like the last three chapters. Nokia made the rebels. Nokia recruits more rebels, trains the rebels, and then is a major player at the final fight. Even if it was just Omnimon at the end there. 
But yeah, she is the anime protagonist. She just... Literally, if Nokia was the one to have been cyber-bodied, she would have been, like, the perfect protagonist for all this. <laughs> It's like, our main character is not really very protagonisty beyond doing protagonisty things. And, but yeah, we fought Yugo slash Yuko. And really, I should have seen that coming. I should have seen it coming that Yuko, like, wasn't himself because then why was there the ghost Yugo? I guess I just kind of accepted that Yugo was like, super-duper into the Eden and was never in the physical world, and then I just assumed that he was a unique early case of Eden Syndrome. But no, they just slowly unraveled me. That twist... <laughs> that twist definitely surprised me. Did not see that coming. Still don't know what Suido's plan is, because he obviously... Or was it? Because also, did we even crack any information from the diary? Like, I don't know. I feel like Suido is a step ahead of Rei. Rei, uh, Kishibe, whatever. I feel like Suido is kind of going along with this plan for some reason. Because again, Suido started out at Nile Tech. Suido started at Nile Tech and created the Eden system itself, basically. The Avatar system. And now he's, like, knows where, like, digital shifts occur. Probably at the behest of Kashibe. But I wonder if he plans on betraying Kashibe. Because, again, he looked... He somehow saw through Arada's hack that was, like, in the cameras and looked directly at Arada and I. So, weirdness. Suido is still a, a random thing. Kashibe is still a fucking sexual assaulter. She's a monster. And apparently has a Digimon. Because uh, I didn't point it out because things were going very fast. But a Digimon flashed behind her or like into her when we got teleported away. So there's probably another Digimon like explanation for things. But yeah, we have to re resolve... Like, Yuko's father's suicide, Yugo's pale boy Eden Syndrome-ness, the time thingy of flashy memory, the thing that Yugo pale boy face inscribed into our digital soul. There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. But we will figure all that out next time. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can catch up on previous streams at the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games, where archives of these streams are placed, such as Mass Effects 1 and 2, with Mass Effect 3 almost ending, I think? Or maybe the final one went up today? I don't know. I just schedule these things and go mad and brain time no work. And if you're already one of those people watching these here archivals on... Neon Icy Games. You can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And if you want more art, like my little avatar in the corner, I swear I'll upload more art. I swear. It's just anxiety is eating my soul. You can see more art of mine at DeviantArt, Tumblr, Newgrounds, and Twitter. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is at Neon... Uh, no, Icy Wings Art Corner. Yes. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time, and I wonder if this will end next time, so definitely be there or be square and on the line. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>